From 2001 to 2011, Burger King was pretty much the real-life home for Spongebob fast food promotions. He'd appear in some other places a few times, of course, but this was where most of the deals went down. You would constantly see new lineups of toys whenever something big happened within the series, mostly for half-hour specials. In 2004, advertising had to be raised to an all-time high thanks to the very first Spongebob movie coming to theaters towards the end of the year. Nickelodeon went far and wide to get this news everywhere because they wanted the movie to succeed, obviously. Now because Burger King was the main fast food chain, they hopped on the movie promotion train. On November 11th, 2004, they celebrated by putting this massive Spongebob balloon on top of restaurants nationwide. An 8 foot tall version of the iconic Sponge smiles and cheers with both of his fists in the air. You can just feel the positive vibes. When people drove by, this would immediately catch their eye because it's Spongebob. I mean, who wouldn't want to look at that? It also worked as a nice tie-in with Burger King themselves because everyone would be more likely to walk inside after the balloon grabs their attention. Although this was a promotion all in good fun, and to attract new theater goers, things didn't turn out as expected. While it definitely helped spread the word and getting more people to watch, there was a side effect to all of this. And they don't think he ran home to his pineapple under the sea, but one local restaurant wants to know, where'd SpongeBob go? A 14 foot tall version of the popular cartoon character SpongeBob SquarePants sat atop the Burger King on 21st Street in Lewiston for the last month. Month. That is until the early morning hours yesterday. Lewiston police say sometime before opening Tuesday morning, thieves apparently made off with the inflatable structure. LPD says the only evidence they have so far are footprints on the roof where ropes that held SpongeBob down were cut. Yeah, that's right. Sponge napping started taking place at more than a few Burger Kings nationwide. People headed out during the night when nobody was around and deflated it to easily carry home. One of the crimes even led to a ransom note. We have SpongeBob. Give us 10 Krabby Patties, fries, and milkshakes. Oh my god, I wish I was kidding, but that's what happened. Now you might be asking yourself, why would anyone do this? Well, the most likely reason is just money. Keep in mind these balloons were worth a few hundred to even a thousand dollars each, and that's some serious bank for any thieves who decide to sell. Some of them ended up appearing on eBay, and that definitely wasn't legal. Burger King executive Russ Klein talked a bit about what these people were doing when they stole the balloons. We're not quite sure what a Spongebob might do after he leaves the top of a Burger King roof, Klein continued. We've heard reports of him being auctioned off in various forms, and we just hope for his safe return. There was also the possible motive that people just wanted to have a massive inflatable Spongebob in their home, but despite the sponge nappings taking place pretty much anywhere you can think of, most of them ended up being recovered at some point in time, even if it took a few years. Police and investigators were able to track the balloons down so they could be returned to Burger King as fast as possible. Not only that, but BK was offering a special deal for any information that led to recovering these. If you helped out, they'd give you a full year supply of Whoppers or other food items. So, uh, yeah. Some people probably couldn't resist that offer. It seems like these things were bad luck, though. There were at least two separate instances in late 2004 and early 2005 when the sponge balloons were connected to fire. These were probably coincidences, but I still kind of feel bad for everyone in charge of the promotion because it didn't turn out exactly how they wanted. Seeing a modern return to the Burger King trend of these massive inflatables would be awesome, even though I know it's a bad idea. In the grand scheme of things, this didn't pose any major threat to the fast food chain, but it was more trouble than it should have been. I'm sure every employee has PTSD. Post-traumatic sponge balloon disorder. <laughs> At least we can look back and laugh. But anyway, that's all for this video. Subscribe for more awesome cartoon videos. Give a thumbs up and come up below let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.